Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to more Survival Fountain of Youth. Today we are talking about the brand new patch, playtest patch number two. Today is the 4th of June 2022 and we are going to do a quick read through of these patch notes. Okay, so we have had the addition, it looks up here as a the uh, additional save slots, which sounds absolutely awesome. Uh, how to save your file if you have a pre-existing game file. You will definitely want to take a look at this. Uh, read through it here real quick for you guys. Follow the path to user profile update a local low. Odinsoft Survival Fount of Youth saves. Copy all of the file folders except for slot 1, 2, 3, or 4. Then open slot 1 if you don't have it and create a new folder there uh, and name it slot 1. Paste all the files copied into it. And that should transfer your save. Hopefully it won't be corrupted. A lot of times with patches, you will get corruption and saves, but hopefully it will allow you to continue what you were doing before. Okay, further game balancing. Complete rebalance of timings. Yes, just like that. So many things have gotten faster to pick, cut, and craft. A list of changes would be enormous. So it sounds like they pretty much hit everything. There are some things that made less sense for their for having long timings like picking fruit off of a tree versus uh you know harvesting vines off of a tree you know so some things made more sense to have longer timers but overall like having more time because you're picking less harvesting less makes a lot of sense and it's probably pretty awesome all right rebalance of vital drains as many actions have become faster it requires some tweaking of how fast you lose your food, water, and stamina ratios. It was done for each difficulty mode individually. All right. Starting a fire. You can't really do anything without a fire, so we slightly decreased the time needed to ignite it and also redesigned its interface to make everything more obvious. This is really good because before I think I was starting fires at an hour and 20 minutes, which is a long time to start a fire. Uh, and then if you fail that fire, I mean, I've I've had like four or five failures in a row and that that's your day gone, you know, so glad this got adjusted. Some of the statuses don't block healing. You might have been too rough on players who like to play a little bit more casually on normal and easy difficulty mode. For them, we will allow healing while sleeping if you have first level cut sunburn and runny nose, but only that. Um, this is a thing that I specifically commented about around the discord. And I am glad that they uh, adjusted this. Having the the cuts and stuff like that, if you think in life, if you have a sunburn, you're still going to sleep, you know? Heck, if you have a runny nose, the thing that you're probably going to do most is go to bed so you can heal up a little bit, you know? Um, that being said, keeping it limited to easy and normal difficulty, nah, I'm fine with that. It keeps hard and very hard, which I'm still calling brutal. And brutal uh much more difficult which is a good thing all right gameplay long sticks we hear you long sticks became the final boss for many players who were struggling to find them fair enough the first batch of uh dream of preta trees is now located much closer to the starting point awesome that way you have a skunk that much closer to you cartography someone left a spare rope in the grotto that's actually really nice so completing the first quest with a cartographer tree is easier now. We just really want everyone to try and understand the importance of mapping. If you guys don't know the importance of mapping, go over to my cartography video. Uh, yeah, I talk all about it. Uh, skipping time, this feature just outlived itself. No need to press dash, dashes while you uh, craft anything. It runs faster on its own. I mean, there was really no reason to have it run at normal time. It's didn't make any sense so this is good change safe slots added a couple in case you need to run several playthroughs we hope four uh, safe slots will be enough enjoy so uh yeah a lot of people will just start them uh up a game and be like that just didn't work out i want to try something else you know and maybe they'll go back to it or maybe they want to try a difficulty level that they're not normally used to you know and having additional safe slots is wonderful for things Cutting things down, axes matter. Enough with chopping down plants with a small cutter. From now on, 
you are going to need an axe for it. This is obligatory. All right, so you're going to the more use for the axe now. So I'm assuming this is for the, the thorn bushes. Uh, previously, those were cut down with the cutting tools. So it sounds like they are now axes. I'm wondering if this also includes things like narrow leaves and wide leaves. We shall see. Fishing. All fishing spots and sea vessels were equipped with fishing stands. Now you need to interact with them instead of the body of water to start fishing. Okay. Making it, I guess, a little more obvious. Snakes and scorpions. Chance, uh, chances of getting poisoned by those fellas has been increased. It was too low. It was too low. I've never gotten poisoned by a snake at all. Um, and I think I may have been poisoned by a scorpion three or four times. And th that's with a lot of playthroughs on the hard difficulty. Living water. Living water is good for you and we made it even better. So now it gives you some help, uh, some healing. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Especially if you grab the one right off uh, the the ship before you leave because that will give you healing right in the beginning not sure if that makes it worthy of being in your equipment as hard but maybe it it's worthwhile taking it in the second slot for normal that being said there's they're all over the place so i mean you find one in the grotto with everything else so you can probably wait till then take more important stuff health potion and speaking of health we also made a health potion recipe unlocked from the start the playtest version. That's nice. Another way to heal is a good thing. Yellow leaves. These can be attained from palm trees and they also look different now. We will miss you old yellow leaves and hooray for the new yellow leaves. The old, uh, old yellow leaves were... I hope these are much more common because the others were very sparse, which meant you couldn't have as many signal files, fires as you possibly wanted to to mark locations and stuff like this. This is a good Skunks and dogs. Skunks are short-eared dogs now. Okay. But they still attack and sound like good old skunks. All right. I'm, I'm not sure about this, but we'll have to see. Canopy. You can now build a primitive canopy so we can build another thing in-game. Awesome. Over your camp or anywhere else to protect yourself from rain and sunlight. That is cool. That this... I'm glad that they brought this in the play test. More things to build, more things that get unlocked are awesome. Stopping blow. Can you actually protect yourself from animals? You always could, but we noticed people uh, couldn't really figure it out. If you were having issues, my combat video talked all about stopping blows and its importance in the game. In combat, it is the number one most important thing. Now there is a hint on how to do a devastating stopping blow properly and leave unharmed. Stay safe. All right, global uh, map, sea trebles. Resources, vital drains, and time needed were reduced for the sake of better balance. This was absolutely needed. Um, if you were to just navigate around the island, just take, hop on your, hop on your raft and sail it, sail it, uh, drive it yourself around the island. And then you would do the same trip with the sail function. The sail function would take like, three days and it would take all of your food all of your water all of your energy and if you did it manually it would take you like half a day and your uh, your values for your vitals would like not even be touched so this this is this is key all right storms you can now encounter a dangerous storm while sailing in the open sea be careful that's kind of cool i'm okay with that Fainting, lost items. Once you faint, you lose your items. You can pick them up again on the same spot. You knew this, right? A lot of people didn't. That's fine. But the information window also shows you how many items were gone. That's that, that works. Death bag. Actually, it's called a dropped bag. But in this case, it is more obvious. It is now much bigger and easier to find. Before, I had dropped it in some areas and it was near impossible to find. The only way I could use it was if I used the concentration ability. Um, but not having to put points into concentration will make uh, life a little bit easier. Graphics and effects, trees and plants, everything was updated. They all look better now. 
have more beautiful and realistic shadows, and most importantly, are better optimized. More optimization, wonderful. Bleeding just added some bleed effects when you poke the animals. Uh, there was already a bleed effect if you shot an arrow into an animal. So it's nice that they have added some bleeding effects to things. Rain in the grotto. It must not rain inside the grotto, so it doesn't anymore. Okay. Signal fire made some important fixes and visually improved it, which is great, as you can see it from everywhere. Intro, the chest on the ship completely reworked the menu of picking your starting kit from the pile of items in the captain's chest. We agree it was very confusing. A lot of people were thinking that, oh, if I pick the backpack right now, it will give me more storage slots so I can pick some other items as well. It's like if I pick, it's a, it was a logic thing. I pick the backpack, I use the backpack, I open the backpack, I take everything with me. Um, and... Basically, it's you can take one thing, two things, or three things. Or, I don't know, I haven't tried very hard yet. That might be zero things. In which case, move this. Our cutscenes, improved quality. Everything from lighting, performance, composition, and quality of textures to sounds was drastically improved. And we also added a voiceover. Hope you like it. We think it is amazing and brings a very fine atmosphere to the game shall see technical issues and other bugs spots where you can get stuck there were some reports about places in the rocky areas where you could accidentally get stuck with no chance to get out all of them are fixed painting in the open sea you are not losing your ship and your belongings if you painted there climbing down from the cartographer's tree free fall is a cool thing but not if you end up dead now it is safe uh, even if you press shift uh, some people were trying to rush down the ladder, and unfortunately, if you try to do that, it, you could jump off the ladder and fall. Um, you can still fall off the cartographer tree, so make sure when you are doing things up there, you are positioned well and stably. And be careful if you're going to go for those nests up there, because some of them are way out on skinny branches. All right, the wooden spear. By the unfortunate turn of events, you were asked to craft a wooden spear without a recipe for it. It was still doable if you could find a long stick, but we already talked about the long sticks, so now you have the recipe from the start. Th this is, I mean, that's, that works well. That's, that's good. good stuff. We could continue this list as we did an extraordinary amount of technical work to make the game run more smoothly, bug free and crash free. This work isn't done yet, but thanks to you, we are progressing fast. All right. So that was a read through of the patch notes of June the 4th, 2022, the uh, New Balance patch, the uh, playtest patch number two. So I hope that was informative to uh, people. I'll continue to do these patch videos just in case, you know, people don't look at Steam notes all the time and just want to get updated on the YouTube. So these are here for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments relating to the patch or not. Um, also, we have several videos already up and a couple more coming up in the next few days. And we will be having more contents from this patch specifically as well. So keep surviving, everyone. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.